else and grab a couple of Hoya to bring down to the nursery for us now if you are interested. <clears throat> I see my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this lane. Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play. How I like rearranged it to my own domain. Yeah, I got what it takes. Made lots of mistakes. Taking shots, keeping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great. Falling off, singing straight, never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got some things to say. Put this enclosure to get work hard each and every day. Turtles. I get lost in the words I say. I don't Guys, push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never captain space. I won't stop till I hear him say. y'all it's sure some crazy critters um I'm on my way to the orange area to clean it up a little bit and then I have to go into the greenhouse and grab a couple of Hoya to bring down to the nursery for sale this week and I thought I would take you along for the ride I got my trusty gorilla carts and a shovel and a rake for this job I'll tell you what uh, gorilla carts can't live without them in this kind of lifestyle they help us pick up the tortoises, they help us pick up the poop, and all the messes that come with it and all that stuff. So, alright, while well, I'm in here, I'm going to rake up all this old hay. Uh, red feet and red foot and yellow footed tortoise really don't eat hay, but they do eat some of the stuff in it. And then we can use this as a bedding to feed on, but it's a few days old. It's time to clean it all up, rake it all up nice and clean. Uh, happens to be egg laying season so we want to make sure everything's tidy and everybody's happy and healthy and we want to stay on top of it. Uh, I was able to, uh, oh darn it, I don't the hose. I was able to refill our emergency water too because I used it the other day. We tried to keep about 10 gallons of water in here just in case we lose power. Um, to the cactus that's growing in here, pick a few petals just like that we get to feed the turtles. And usually they're all know when we're doing that. I don't know how they can actually hear that. But they do. And there's Osmond. I actually have two salcadas in here for rehoming. I think they're probably going to be under the tube. One is. Oh, must be. Duck eggs and right there. Hey, buddy. Can't wait to have ducks again, but yeah, we have these uh, two tortoises this size up for rehoming. Let us know if you are interested. We'll tell you the story and messenger. Just send us a message. And just that easy, pretty much the orange area is clean and everybody's fed. I'm not trying to get it spotless. These are animals that live in the dirt, keep in mind. Just pulled some weeds out in the food forest, dropped them in for a snack. I think I'll pull some more when we're coming up from the nursery. But uh, for now I'm going to go pull some Hoyas that I want to sell this week. Uh, what we'll do is just let the water overflow while we're down at the nursery. When we get back, we'll turn it off and the water will be spotless and there'll be lots of humidity and moisture for these forest-dwelling tortoises. Ken trimmed up a whole bunch of plants in the turtle greenhouse today. I was just telling my friend Heather I would come and get her some seeds from her milkweed because nothing ever eats it. And then, of course, he had cut it all back. A lack of communication, I suppose. I suppose a lack of communication indeed. Um, but it looks much better. It's less crowded and <clears throat> you can actually breathe when you're walking through. You, there was plants all in the walkway yesterday, so uh, he had to do what he had to do. Let's see if Turtler is... Super active. I gotta still come in this evening and feed everybody. Uh, I'm here just for some Hoya so I could take down to the greenhouse. And I'm topping my subhastarum or subhastatum um, to sell the top piece. We're going to put up our princess for sale here. 
Uh, it's quite attractive. I'll show you in the more light. Something pretty not selling right now, but our Super Eskimo Crohiana is blooming. It's very pretty. All right, my subhastatum is here. It grows over this beautiful turtle pond, but lately it's been super top heavy. So I'm gonna cut it right here at this joint and offer it up for sale. And just like that, I have a beautiful philodendron, subhastatum or subhastatum for sale at the Crazy Plants Nursery. And let's go on down and check out the rest of the stuff. Showing off some stock, but we have some pretties also to get to. I announced a Hoya drop. We had a friend drop off a whole bunch of different cuttings. We have small starts of Lacanosa, really pretty queens, beautiful princess starts, black margin, Obavada, Matilda. This is just a bunch of recent Macrophylla. I have Chelsea starts. Pudata Sumatra, and more. A lot of these also have splashed. The grower, even this Chelsea, I gave him pieces of my Chelsea and it doesn't have splash, but his pieces do. So, quite beautiful specimen. Don't forget about the princess that we just brought down from the turtle greenhouse. Dendrons, we have everything from Florida Ghost, Florida Green, we have Jose Bueno, we have variegated Burl Mark, White Wizards and White Princess. Campy Lynette, we have Silver Stripe, Cream Splash, our philodendrons on planks, hanging baskets, holes. You just really got to come in and take a look around the philodendron section. I'm sure we have what you're looking for, especially if you're looking for beautiful Versertia Aurora Flavum, because we got them. Now look at my super beautiful Bloody Mary mother plant. Massive. We got a few cactus this week. We were going to go get some new succulents, but we got really busy building up at the Crazy Critters. We have Albo Epis and Monsteras. Oh, Epi Shangri-La. Check out this one Ken just brought home. How hot is that? It's quite beautiful. While he was at that grower, he got some beautiful uh, Albo Syngoniums priced just at $20. Beautiful Aurora priced at just $40. Found some milk confettis and some neons and illusions and all that kind of stuff. So uh, we have malted mojito too. Still have some chocolate cherry tomatoes and yellow grape tomatoes. Orange sweet pe peppers. Got a whole bunch of tomatoes, two different types. Beefsteak and Ace 55 YF. We got a whole bunch of begonias, pear plants, peperomia. And more, and we sell it all and donate 100% to Crazy Critters Inc. Look at the massive kangaroo fern. It's just really, really cool. I love the, the feet on it. Beautiful Hoya Lisa. Um, oh, and we got some carnivorous pitcher plants left. Only a couple. What we do have is some cool alocasias. We have Dragon Breath, Jacqueline, Boa, Brandiflora, something, something. Sabrina Reticulata, Frydeck, Maharani, Pink Princess, Alizani, Stingrays. I actually just got a new loaded Stingrays dropped off. They weren't donated, but the price was really, really cheap. Uh, they do have a few tiny mealybugs on there, but I'll be cleaning them up before offering them for sale. But those are going to be super, super affordable. All we can do is ask you to make us... Oh, sorry, my throat. All I can do is ask you to make us part of your day this weekend. Look at the massive Geneva philodendron leaf that just opened up. I mean, it is ginormous. Yeah, because your support helps us build crazy critters. Let's go on up there and I'll show you some of the new projects Ken and I got done this week while we were closed. In the pot, things like this is donated to us and it helps us so much. Uh, $25 for these decorative pots and we we're going to take maybe an offer on the pothead. I'm not really sure. It's so great. I want to say it's worth a hundred million dollars because I love it. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments below. Oh, there was a third one, but Kim was here and she purchased it for her collection. So I've already sold one of the three bowls here for 25. So I'll have them this weekend if you're interested. Let's go on up and check out. Oh, I'm going to take it this really bad looking princess and hang it up where that one was. 
so that way it will grow better and become a better cell sale specimen. Oh, our cash only. Uh, don't forget. And look at this beautiful variegated leopard lily. It's pretty large too. I love it. It's beautiful. It's next to the philodendron brandy. And the big huge raffidora tetrasperma in a hanging basket. I think that's pretty hot too. Um, but anyways, back to projects and where Ken and I got. Got some mulch for the sweet potato bed today from Atkins Tree Care. Definitely a tree service you can trust. The pile of mulch, Ken will come out with a tractor and lay it down and then we'll plant our sweet potato seeds that we actually grew last year, cultivated, sold the crap out of, and kept these for replanting. That is self-sufficient if you ask me. I don't know if you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, but yesterday Ken laid these two pads. And this morning we put this cage together and put it here. And while I was selling plants at the Crazy Plants Nursery, Ken put this enclosure together. So together we're going to move it to this pad. And that gets us a little bit closer to the bird aviary being finished. And number three. All done. Oh, halfway done. Ken started to add rocks to the new pond. This is the area that we worked on this last week where we installed walls that will meet FWC guidelines for some class 2 critters. But we need a lot more rock. If anybody has any rocks they don't want and they have in the way, please bring them and drop them off during nursery hours. Yeah, looking pretty good. Oh, we gotta feed some turtles before I can go in for the night. So let's drop off some turtle food and I wanna talk to you about something and get your opinion. Alright, well we'll toss in we're gonna feed medium turtles today. So you guys don't know if you remember my video on the shooting, the continuous shooting that we have to deal with around here. I did a video trying to get my community to support us in a petition to sign um, in our attempts to uh, try to show you guys some turtles while I'm doing this, but it's not that easy. Anyways, we're going to submit a petition to try to stop continuous gun shooting. In other words, people who shoot uh, for hours at a time, we're going to submit a petition to try to stop that in our area. So today I was contacted by a journalist who wants to talk to me about my video on YouTube. Uh, a journalist with the Associated Press. He's doing a story on PTSD and guns. And I don't know if I should call him back. I'm a little skeptical. I mean, we have to think about all the people that the neighbors have sent to us to spy on us. All their friends and family. And I don't know if this reporter is even real. I don't know how to know if it's a real uh, person or just somebody just trying to mess with us because of our lawsuit. Um, what do you guys think? Should I go ahead and call him back? Should I not call him back? It's been pretty peaceful around here in this recent times. Um, we've actually done a lot of rescues this week. We actually have a new resident right in this pond. Maybe I can find for you. Um, let's see, we have a little slider. Um, not this turtle. This is a map turtle. We've had this one for a little while. Let's find it. It's right here. Littlefoot. It's one of our newest residents. Uh, this week we did, we helped with two aquatic turtles. Let's see if she'll, he'll eat. Uh, we also helped with four leopard geckos, four tortoises. Five frogs. And... Our own rescues are laying eggs and needing lots of TLC with our, you know, our projects. We're trying to build 
crazy critters. Do I have time to call the Associated Press? Uh, you know, if it makes a difference, if changes can be made. And then yeah, I'll take the time and see where it goes. Uh, is it somebody that they're sending to mess with me? Maybe. I hope I can tell. Alright, I have a few more turtle pellets to top out. And then we'll move on to publishing this video. Um, these tubs are new too. This is uh, a new, new project we're working on for turtles that are big enough to breed. Can put hinges. We're gonna fill them with topsoil. I got openings and ramps that go into the pond. We're working pretty great so far. We still always have so much more work to do. Don't forget your visits to the Crazy Plants Nursery. It helps us do all of this. Still gotta go feed farmyard for the day, so I gotta get going. Don't forget we're cash only down there at the Crazy Plants Nursery. 100% uh, of your proceeds goes directly to Crazy Critters Inc. Yeah, we helped uh, not only our community members, but we also helped the FWC Amnesty Program this week. So, uh, we're pretty proud to be members of the FWC Amnesty Program and members of our community who trust us in their time of need to rehome. This is Littlefoot, you guys. The name that it came with and we try to keep them. that way their owners can continue to check in. Uh, the slider it came with will be donated to an education facility um, in between. Uh, it might take us a minute to get it there but this is what you support when you come out and buy a plant from the Crazy Plants Nursery. Um, let's see, see if we can show you guys some babies for Rehoming. Let's see, right here is some um, turtles. Oh, they got a little bit of grass stuck to them. Let us know if you're interested in one of our captive born mud turtles. Or. Hmm. Little baby pink belly side neck turtles. We actually got another little foot, and it's a pink belly side neck. You can see it creeping along the bottom there. That's a little foot. She's doing really great. She has three or four sibling, you know, other turtles that live in this pond here. Uh, it's still a grow out, but can put one of the nesting boxes just to be sure. But they actually can't get into it. There's no ramp. So right now they're just growing. This is a grow up pond. Hope to see you guys down in the turtle. No, not in the turtle greenhouse. That's where I am. In the Crazy Plants Nursery this weekend. We're open Wednesday through Sunday, 10 to 2. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits I built tall, never capped in space I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh.